Hi guys, uh, this is JK. So thanks for thanks to Sudhi Body for calling me for this tutorial. Uh, so I'm going to discuss with you on sidechain. How do you apply sidechain? What are the different applications of sidechain? So specifically for sidechain dynamics. So let's uh, try to understand what is this whole idea of sidechain. No, mainly uh, when you use a compressor or a gate. So gate or a compressor is generally used to control dynamics within the channel that means it works on a self mode that means if you are using a gate generally it is used to avoid uh, leakages to, to reduce leakage by opening the gate and closing in a set threshold <clears throat> a compressor basically compresses the signal that cross the threshold so what a side chain basically means is that when uh, you are activating the dynamic processing based on an alternate signal that means not based on the self signal but on a key in source so uh, which is called as a side chain signal so we are going to discuss here a few situations where you would practically use a side chain it is not a uh, difficult thing to do it is a quite very easy thing and it can be actually implemented at many situations and uh, you can actually get really good results out of it so uh, now let's see the first situation so i'm going to use something called as sidechain gating now what is sidechain gating so you all have learned that uh, you do gates you know like let's say you gate a kick drum why you would gate a kick drum you would uh, try to remove or reduce the leakage of other instruments on the kick drum so now that is when you use a gate on a self mode now what i am trying to do here is when you layer a certain sample with the kick what sort of a sample can be layered so generally what uh, sometimes you uh, notice is that many kicks these days doesn't have much thumb on it so you can see on the screen uh, so i'm having a kick channel here which which is selected right now and there is a sub frequency aux path that i've created i hope you are uh, you know like uh, fluent with pro tools so if, uh, you can see here on the kick you have uh, a side chain path that is created which is the kick side chain which is sense which is going into this track so how do you see that so if you open up you can see there is a signal generator that i've inserted here now the signal generator what is it creating it's creating a 43 hertz at minus 20 db so after the signal generator there is a gate that has been applied and you can see that the gate is not in a self mode it is in a side chain input so you can see here uh, the input is the same aux path which is a kick side chain that is the same sent that is sent from the kick track so basically what this means is an alternate signal of the kick is sent into this gate to trigger the gate open for the uh, for this signal generator so if my gate is bypassed you can notice that this is the tone that is applied you might have to wear your headphones or you might have to uh, put um, your audio into some studio speakers to hear it it's a 43 hertz so your playback system should be able to support it you can actually choose any frequency that you can choose from the signal generator here root note is around uh, like uh, 60 or so so i have actually played around with the frequency to find a matching tone that really works for the song also so you have to really look into what note really helps so you can see here 43 hertz it is gated after that and once the gate is bypassed you can see the noise is just on by itself so if you listen to the kick without the noise it is okay now what i'm trying to achieve by doing this is when i put this noise on and the kick this doesn't make much sense it's just a noise like a hum throughout while the kick is being played so we are gating the kick with the c1 gate with a side chain input of the same kick so what it does is it opens up this gate when the side chain signal cross the threshold that i have set which is mi minus 32 uh over here so you can notice now while the kick plays the gate opens for the signal generator you can 
see that the gate is opening and shutting only when the kick is played. So the gate is off. Continuous hum. But when the gate is on, that is only layered to the kick. So when the kick plays, the gate opens and shuts. Now this is a practical application of sidechain. You can also uh, put this in a pre-fader sense. So that means you can see here on the sense it's in a pre-fader. So if you pull the kick fader down, you will hear only the signal generated sound. And you can play around with the attack and release time here to shape it up. If it is too fast, it might start cracking. So you have to slightly keep it a little slower attack until you don't hear much cracks. <laughs> That's it. So once you have the subfrequency layered to the kick, it gives a little thumb to that. And you don't need to sit and edit samples. You can just put a gate on it on a sidechain input and it does the rest for you. You can also see that uh, this sort of a work workflow is also uh, possible for uh, sound effects and uh, for post production. So where you can you know like layer gunshots or explosions and stuff with a lower frequency that can be sent into the LFE channel for adding on to additional impact for a sound effect. So this technique is used by mainly electronic music producers can use it and even for uh, sound designers for movies or short films you can try this out.